This is Big Idea 8. Natural hazards pose risks to humans. Natural hazards result from natural earth processes. These hazards include earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, floods, droughts, landslides, volcanic eruptions, extreme weather, fires started by lightning, sinkholes, coastal erosion, and impacts from asteroids. Natural hazards shape the history of human societies. Hazardous events can have a great impact on humans. They can change the size of human populations and drive human migrations. As populations move into vulnerable areas like coastlines or concentrate in areas that are already inhabited, risks from natural hazards increase. Human activities can contribute to the frequency and intensity of some natural hazards. These hazards include floods and landslides, droughts, forest fires and erosion. Hazardous events can be sudden or gradual. They range from sudden events such as earthquakes and explosive volcanic eruptions to phenomena such as droughts which may last decades or even longer. Human populations can be at risk from continual processes such as erosion and land subsidence. One example is the increased risk of flooding in New Orleans. Natural hazards can be local or global in origin. Local events can have distant impacts. This is because of the interconnected nature of both human societies and Earth's systems. For example, a volcanic eruption in the Pacific Ocean can affect climate around the globe. Geoscientists are continually improving estimates of when and where natural hazards occur. This analysis is done through continuously monitoring Earth, increasing our understanding of the physical processes that underlie Earth's changes, and developing scientific models that can explain hazard-related scientific observations. Humans cannot eliminate natural hazards, but can engage in activities that reduce their impacts. Natural hazards can result in loss of life, property damage and economic costs. Humans can reduce these effects by identifying and avoiding high-risk locations, improving construction methods where they do live, developing warning systems and recognizing how human behavior affects how people prepare for and respond to natural hazards. An earth science literate public is essential for reducing risks from natural hazards. This literacy leads to promoting community awareness about natural hazards and developing scientifically informed policies that reduce risk. And that's Big Idea 8. Natural hazards pose risks to humans.